Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform for beginners or Terraform Bootcamp. In today's video, we're going to talk about Terraform basics. Why do you need to learn these basics? Because in future videos, we're going to do a lot of stuff in which we are going to create the infrastructure and these basics are very much necessary for you to understand in order to create any kind of DevOps uh, project in which we use terraform uh, let it be on azure let it be on aws or any other cloud for that matter all right so uh, before moving further kindly subscribe to the channel because that would really support me to create more content like this all right so let us understand what exactly do we have for today so the first thing we're going to understand what exactly is terraform and why do we you why do we need it uh, the second one would be terraform init very important Terraform plan is the next thing we're going to learn the third thing would be terraform apply and at the end after all is we are going to understand what exactly is Terraform Destroy. All right, so let us try and understand all of this. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what exactly is Terraform. Okay, so Terraform is basically an open source infrastructure as a code tool created by HashiCorp. Users define and provide data center infrastructure using a declarative configuration language known as HashiCorp configuration language or optionally JSON. So basically it's an open source. Uh, so few things, open source, and second thing that you have to understand is IAAC, which is infrastructure as a code. So when we say infrastructure as a code, what does it exactly mean? So you write a code, a piece of code. It could be in YAML, it could be in JSON. So that's generally what happens. And then you write a piece of code in here. And in this piece of code, you write a lot of specifications for the AWS services or in this course, we'll use AWS, but uh, you can write that for in GCP, in Azure or any other cloud for that matter. This is known as platform agnostic. So this is a word you'll be hearing a lot and you can use this in your interviews. Why do we exactly need it? Because it's platform agnostic. So when you write this kind of code and when you run it using a few steps, which is init, plat, uh, plan, destroy, we, we're going to talk about that in this video in further uh, in a few minutes. Once that is done, it will create an infrastructure for you in the public cloud. We are going to use AWS over here. So if you write the code related to EC2 machine over here and when you run it, it is going to create a virtual machine for you, which is EC2 instance. If you're going to create a VP, uh, if you're going to write a code for VPC, it is going to create a VPC over here and so on and so forth. You can create a huge infrastructure on the AWS using this YAML file or using this Terraform script. So it's a format over here, but the extension would be used at TF, which is Terraform uh, extension. All right. So that is the reason why we use uh, Terraform. And this is what exactly meant by uh, infrastructure as a code. So the multiple languages available, uh, AWS for AWS, uh, we have native is cloud formation. This is a uh, kind of a good information nice to know information we're gonna not uh, we're gonna use that cloud formation and uh, we have pulumi as well uh, and there are multiple things as well all right so uh, this is why we use it and this is what iac stand for okay so the next thing uh, why why should we use iac i mean we can just go and create manually right why why we cannot do that Okay, so the reason is manual provisioning is slow and cumbersome. So it is very slow and cumbersome. So uh, what does that mean uh, that it's slow and cumbersome? Slow means that you have to go there, you have to uh, create infrastructure, click on a lot of stuff and then you have to create. But uh, in that case, in a case of IAC, which is a Terraform that we are using over here, things can go really fast. So for example, if you have to create infrastructure for every build, Okay, for every build, if you have to create an infrastructure, then you can use these Terraform scripts instead of manually creating. This will save a lot of time and every time you have to just uh, trigger, uh, trigger the build, which will use Terraform file to create the infrastructure and you'll be done within, within a few seconds or minutes. Minutes would be right word to say and manually it will take a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of time, right? And here uh, it'll take less time. Okay, so that's that's the purpose of uh, using it uh, for IAC so because provisioning infrastructure through point and click GUI or custom script is basically slow, error prone and inefficient and doesn't scale a lot. So that's that's one of the uh, things that we use IAC for. So the next thing uh, we're going to use is Terraform. I think this is second Terraform init. So init 
uh, stands for basically initialization uh, whenever you have to use uh, initialization uh, whenever you have to create uh, any infrastructure you have to initialize the repository first and whenever you have to run terraform init command in the console make sure there is a tf file existing over there otherwise your repository won't be initialized okay uh, your repository won't be initialized okay so uh, that's one thing so basically what exam uh, what do we understand by terraform in it, it uh, this command initializes a terraform working directory so if you uh, have a directory inside which you have terraform file which is what i told you about this is going to initialize it it is typically the first command uh, that you used so just remember that comes a lot of handy in the interviews the first command that you run uh, in a terraform project or when you want to use a new provider or a module okay so if you are using any provider like uh, aws or something and then you want to use something else like for gcp or azure or or anything so or 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 something like a module when you create we're going to talk about all of them in future videos module is very uh, very interesting thing that uh, we're going to use so during initialization terraform downloads the necessary data provider plugins and set up a backend configuration so what happens is uh, for example aws is the, their own backend gcp has their own backend and azure has his own backend as soon as your terraform file uh, finds a provider in your uh, terraform file uh, there would be provider uh, which you're going to use in the next video it is going to make a call to aws and going to download some configuration and if it this uh, this provider is aws then it's going to aws if it is azure then it's going to make a call over here and then download stuff over here i'm going to show that in the next video and if it is gcp so on and so forth okay uh, i think i misplaced azure will go over here and gcp will go over here uh, let me just correct that Azure will go over here and GCP will go over here. Okay, you understood the part, right? So this is what we exactly we know. I'm going to show you an example in the next video. Do not get confused about that. There would be hands-on. The next one would be, I'll select some other color. The next one would be, uh, this is the third one, Terraform plan, Terraform plan, okay. So how does this work? This command creates an execution plan for Terraform. It examines uh, the current state of your infrastructure and compares it to the desired state defined in your Terraform configuration file. It then generates an execution plan that outlines the action Terraform will take to reach the desired state. The plan shows what resources will be created, modified and destroyed. So if you haven't understood whatever I said, just remember that there would be state one and there would be state two. Okay, so some infrastructure would be here or no infrastructure would be here and your Terraform file is going to create some infrastructure. Okay, so if this is X, if this is X, it's going to be X dash over here. So whatever it's there, it's going to create something over here. It can be one service, it can be 10 services, it doesn't matter. Okay, so three things just keep in your mind, creation, modification, The third thing would be destroy, destruction. So your Terraform plan will run through the, uh, once it runs, it will compare the state, the current state with the desired state and it will show you uh, in a form of, in a form of document, uh, it, not exactly a document, but it will displays on your screen that what is going to be created, what is going to be modified and what is going to be destroyed. I'll tell you with an example. Creation means if you're, adding something new modification means that you have existing ec2 instance uh, with uh, ram 2 gb but you want to modify it to 4 gb that's an example of modification and destruction means you uh, collectively destroying the ec2 or any other aws service so i hope you have got an example of what exactly we're going to show it is not going to do that it's just going to show you what exactly will happen the next step would be the fourth step would be, I'll select some other color. The next step would be Terraform apply. Terraform apply. Okay. So what will happen? This command executes the action specified in the execution plan generated by Terraform plan. So whatever is done over here and whatever part has to be changed, modified, destroyed, uh, uh, has to be destroyed or created, Terraform apply will does 
uh, will will execute exactly the same thing and it applies the changes necessary to reach the desired state so this was state one right this was state one and this was state two so plan will create a plan for it but terraform apply will execute and whatever you want to create modify or destroy will be achieved by terraform plan okay so this will create update and delete resources as needed in the plan part so whatever it is it has shown you on the console but terraform apply is needed in order to do that in order to achieve that and the last one would be uh, let me select some other color the last one would be terraform destroy okay in terraform destroy this command used to destroy the terraform manage infrastructure terraform manage infrastructure means now this is a very good statement terraform managed infrastructure now uh, understand it this way like if you already have an aws and one instance was already uh, one ec2 machine this is ec2 and uh, ec2 one and this is ec2 two okay this was created manually and this was created by terraform script okay so when we say terraform manage it means infrastructure means the infrastructure that is created we are using terraform scripts okay so that's why we say that it will only destroy the terraform manage script it won't touch what was existing over here it will only destroy the managed ones which is this one it won't even touch this okay it will destroy all the resources that were created by terraform similar to terraform apply you will be prompted to confirm you will be prompted to confirm and you have to write yes or no if you write yes it's going to go ahead and create or and destroy it exactly the same as uh, terraform apply does and no if you want to don't want to confirm with the uh, uh, with the actions okay it is important to use this command with caution as it permanently deletes the resource so deletes permanently okay so make sure that you remember this this will delete the permanently and this cannot be undone okay so this is what all right so folks i hope you have understood why uh, what exactly is terraform why do we use in it plan apply and destroy in this all right so if there is anything feel free to comment down below if you need uh, any help if you need any uh, answer to any question if you have any question do write uh, i try to read all the questions and i answer them and i'll see you in the next one